Hello and welcome back. This is video number eight and this is the last video and this is going to be talking about how to automate your WooCommerce tasks. So there are some tasks that you just need to automate immediately after somebody purchases or perhaps when somebody comes to your site or add something to your shopping cart. So there are two different avenues that you can take. Number one is Zapier, that's Z-A-P-I-E-R.com, as you can see here. Zapier has what we call zaps or automation processes. So if something happens, then something else happens. So for example, if somebody purchases, then you can add them to your email list. Or when they purchase, not only do you add them to your email list, but you also send them an email. You can also do something like if they add something, let's say for example, to the cart, but they do not purchase, but they've signed up, then you could trigger something to email them. And if they don't respond, let's say within 72 hours, you could email them 10% discount coupon. So there are a variety of things that you can do in terms of Zapier. Now, I just want to show you as an example, if you go to Zapier and you log in and you type in WooCommerce and you go here, here are just some of the many different ideas that you can implement. So for example, it says save new WooCommerce orders to Google Sheets rows, add new WooCommerce customers to active campaign as new contacts, update contacts in active campaigns based on new WooCommerce orders. So if customer A comes and then they get added, let's say to active campaign and they purchase product number one now, and that it gets updated. And let's say a month later, they purchase product number two, three, four, that will basically update the system as well. So not only that, it's not just all about email marketing. You can add them to, let's say, for example, your QuickBooks, your tax records, your accounting, bookkeeping. You can create Trello cards based on the new WooCommerce orders. Maybe you have a team that needs to take a look at what the orders are. You need to automate the process. You need to make it easier for them. So as I scroll down, you can see the many, many different automation processes and tasks that you can implement. So another one, you can say, add new WooCommerce orders to go to webinar as registrants. So if we keep scrolling down, you can see there are hundreds of zaps or automation tasks just for WooCommerce. Now, in addition to Zapier.com, there is another plugin, an actual WordPress plugin. So Zapier is not a plugin. It's, it's actually a website, a SaaS platform, as you would say. But if you wanted to do more than that, there's a nice little plugin called the Uncanny Automator WordPress plugin. And this plugin is something that you would install directly into your WordPress platform. So Zapier, on the other hand, would work outside of your WordPress site. So for example, as you can see here, the Uncanny Automator, the reason why it's really unique is because it integrates with a lot of different WordPress plugins that are not inside of Zapier. So as you can see, you can automate all of these between each other. So for example, WooCommerce, you could have something that says if somebody purchases an online course through WooCommerce, then they get added to, let's say, for example, LearnDash, which is a platform or WordPress plugin that allows you to sell online courses. Now, to just give you some ideas here, if we go to all triggers and actions, if we scroll down here, you can see that there are a variety of different triggers. So a trigger means something that happens beforehand before something else can happen. So if this happens, then do this. So that's what a trigger is. And then the action is what happens after the trigger initiates. So we have Gamma Press, we have Gravity Forms, 
and more. So for example, you could say, okay, if somebody fills out a form, Gravity Forms, and you have that WordPress plugin, you could say if somebody, a user submits a form or a user submits a form that contains a very specific value, then do this or do that. Maybe add them to an online course or maybe add them to your membership site or maybe create a pop-up or add them to your events calendar. There's so many different triggers and actions that you can create with the Uncanny Automator. This is a WordPress plugin that we've tested and we've really liked and it's definitely worth it. Now, in terms of cost, if you go here to the main site and you click on Buy Automator, you can see that there are a variety of recipes that you can create. Now, the main difference between a Zapier.com and this plugin is that with this plugin, you can create unlimited actions and unlimited recipes. With Zapier, on the other hand, you do have a limited amount of what we call zaps or trigger and actions. So with this one, you can create unlimited, whereas with Zapier, you have a limit of that. But on the other hand, Zapier also provides access to over 1500 apps, whereas the Uncanny Automator really focuses and hones in on WordPress plugins. So these two systems we highly recommend, we've used, we've tested, and we've really enjoyed using them. There are many other sites out there that do this kind of things, but we've really narrowed it down to these two sites. And you can access the Uncanny Automator by going to automatorplugin.com. That's automatorplugin.com. Com. Or you can simply go to google.com and do a search for the Uncanny Automator. 